क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 इन फीमोरल ट्रायंगल द फॉलोइंग इज प्रेजेंट ऑप्शन ए ऑब्जर्वेटर नर्व ऑप्शन बी फीमोरल नर्व ऑप्शन सी शियाटिक नर्व ऑप्शन डी जेनाइटो फीमोरल नर्व ऑप्शन ई रेक्टस फीमोरस मसल so the correct answer in this scenario is option b that is femoral nerve rest of the options are false because they are not present in the femoral triangle the contents of femoral triangle are femoral artery femoral vein and femoral nerve question number 12 which of the following bone does not have any muscle attachment option a cuboid option b talus option c cuneiform option d navicular option e calcaneum so the correct answer in this scenario is option b talus because it doesn't has any muscular attachment as shown in the figure Question number thirteen: A patient presents with an unstable knee joint following an injury during a football match. On examination, there was swelling of the joint, and tibia could be moved excessively forward on the femur. The structure most likely to be damaged is option A, anterior cruciate ligament; option B, ligamentum patellae; option C, medial collateral ligament; option D. oblique popliteal ligament option c posterior cruciate ligament so the correct answer in this scenario is option a anterior cruciate ligament because it it protects the femur from over extending on the tibia excessive anterior movement is protected by anterior cruciate ligament Question number 14 An unconscious boy of 11 years of age is brought to the emergency department of a hospital because of shock Doctor on duty is unable to find any vein which vein of the lower limb is most likely to be chosen for vein section Option A dorsal venous arch option B femoral vein option C dead saphenous vein option D popliteal vein option E small saphenous vein So the correct answer in this scenario is option C great saphenous vein because in this scenario of shock we choose great saphenous vein for the venous access Question number 15 great saphenous vein option A receives single tributary at saphenous opening option B ends 3.5 cm lateral and below the pubic tubercle option C starts at saphenous femoral junction option d runs along lateral margin of leg option e ends 3.5 cm medial and below pubic tubercle so the correct answer in this scenario is option b that is it ends at 3.5 cm lateral and below the pubic tubercle Rest of the options are false because it receives multiple tributaries at saphenous opening and it ends at the saphenous femoral junction not at starts and it runs along the medial margin of the leg question number 16 loss of inversion of foot but able to avert muscles damage are option a extensor hallucis longus plus flexor hallucis option b tibialis anterior and flexor hallucis longus option c tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior option d flexor hallucis longus option e extensor hallucis longus so the correct answer in this scenario is option c the tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior are the primary in- inverters of the foot rest of the options are false option e is slightly 
correct because it is secondary inverter of the foot but not the primary inverter so when a scenario comes like this when the both muscles group are in the options you have to choose the best one because in cpsp exam this asks for the best answers so you have to choose the option c that is tibialis anterior and tibialis posterior regarding arches of the foot option a present at the time of birth option b mainly formed by foot option c provide resilience option d helps to walk on uneven surface option e help in weight bearing so the main function of the arches of the foot is to help on the uneven surface the correct answer is option d question number 18 a patient presented with fracture of femur and tibia low blood pressure and rapid pulse which is the first step to do option a to back slap option b maintain iv line option c maintain external fixation of a fracture option d internal fixation of a fracture option e x-ray of a femur So the correct answer in this scenario is option B that we have to maintain the IV line because patient is in the shock and we have to maintain the IV line. The rest of the options are the secondary things to do. Question number 19 when L5 fuses with a sacrum it is called as option A scoliosis, option B kyphosis, option C lumbarization, option D sacralization, option E ankylosis. the correct answer in this scenario is option d that is sacralization of the lumbar vertebra question number 20 compression of s1 nerve root results in option a loss of ankle jerk option b positive babinski sign option c sensory loss on sole and medial aspect of foot option d trophic ulcers on the dorsum of foot option e weakness of plantar extension So the correct answer in this scenario is option A that is loss of ankle jerk is the sign when there is compression of S1 nerve root